Let's talk about something very important. A very important word both in business, professional life, well, business is professional life, but a very important word in your professional life and also your personal life. And that's compromise. Compromise is that give and take. You give a little bit, they give a little bit. You take a little bit, they take a little bit. And you guys work something out. It, it makes the deal actually happen. You know, in a business setting, that might be ideally, I would love to only work Monday through Thursday. But there's a lot of work that has to happen on a Friday, so I'll work Friday as well. And the response to that is, is they pay you for Friday. There you go, compromise. You've worked that negotiation out. Compromise is a huge thing. Case in point, I don't really like working super long hours, but I compromise on shows that I do because that's just the nature of the business and that's how it has to be done. Because there's way too much thing, there's way too many events and things that happen in a day and meetings and all that, that I just have to be there, you know, 10 plus hours a day or constantly answer my phone. In exchange, they pay me a good bit of money and I only have to work so many months out of the year between shows, so I get a pretty good amount of time off. Be nice if it was a little more frequently, like every weekend or a couple days a week, but that doesn't always happen. Realistically, compromise is super important. It's something that we all have to do. It's something that we all work with. And, you know, ideally it's something that makes the world go round. But what happens when somebody doesn't want to compromise? Your job or your relationship or just your friends or maybe it's a client at your job. Like, say you're a freelancer like I am and you have a client who doesn't want to compromise on what they want or what they expect but they also don't want to give you anything in return. There is no compromise. They're just steadfast, hard-lined. Well, you can not take the job, or you can tell them realistically for what you're offering to pay and this and that and these constraints, this is what you're gonna get. If you don't like it, then you can fire me and you can find somebody else, or I'm gonna walk away from this job and be willing to lose that job, be willing to lose that income. And that's probably the hardest thing for a freelancer to understand and follow through on is saying no to work. Whether it's there's the time constraints too tight, the budget's not where it needs to be, which is usually the case. Um, but anything like that, or it's just a project you don't want to work on, maybe it's a subject matter or topic or something like that that you don't necessarily want to do, that's fine. Be willing to say no, but also be willing to compromise and work within your constraints. Know what you're worth, know what your time is valuable for, and know when you can and cannot work and what comes first in your life, those priorities. So compromise is big, be willing to do it, try and do it, but also be willing to put, draw that line in the sand and say, you know what, I'm done compromising, I'm walking away from this job. So that's today's little topic. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.